Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to a great night of World Championship Boxing live on BT Sport from the Manchester Arena. We get things started with 10 rounds scheduled in the heavyweight division, and it is being brought to you by Frank Warren on behalf of Queensbury Promotions, along with their great sponsors, 32 Red and Foot Asylum. It is sectioned by the British Boxing Board of Control. Steward in charge is Robin Smith. When the bell rings, our referee in charge and scoring this contest will be John Latham. Introducing to you first fighting tonight out of the red corner. He's wearing black trunks and weighed in at 18 stone, nine pounds. Coming to us from Dublin, Ireland, he brings a professional record consisting of 12 wins, two defeats, one no contest, with eight of his 12 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Sean Big Sexy Turner. His opponent across the ring fighting tonight out of the blue corner. He's wearing white with black and weighed in at 17 stone, 11 pounds. Hailing from Nantwich, England, he is undefeated with 12 wins. 10 of his 12 wins come by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the current WBC International Heavyweight Champion, Nathan. You know, expect from you both, you obey the instructions at all times. When I tell you break, you both break clean. Defend yourselves at all times, and the best luck to you both. Touch gloves. Well, Nathan Gorman hasn't done an awful lot wrong so far in his professional career. 12 out of 12 in terms of victories, but Sean Turner represents a real tough test tonight. And Turner, prior to this, said, don't run. Don't try and win it on the back foot. Stand and trade with me and show us if you're a real man. Well, that's I'm trying to use a bit of experience here to maybe force Gorman into a fight that maybe he doesn't want to get involved in. You've got to play to your strengths. Gorman's is definitely speed of foot, speed of hand. And Ricky Hatton, Gorman's trainer, says don't estimate his strength and don't estimate, underestimate his ability to fight in the pocket, to fight up close, because he says he's more than capable of going with a strong brawler like Turner if he has to. Well, that might be the case, but why would you want to even test that? Especially early on in the fight, a lovely uppercut there from Coleman. Turner just holding his feet a little bit and paying the price. Needs a bit more of a body movement here, Turner, coming forward. He's going to want to walk down Gorman, a bit more intelligent than just plodding forward. Turner can throw bombs, though, if he gets into range. Apparently he's wanted this fight for an awful long time. He's been calling out for Nathan Gorman pretty much ever since he turned pro when he was 19 years old. There's the left hand of Turner. But it's a tremendous attack from Gorman coming back, including a really solid right hand. Referee John Latham has to just separate them and warning Gorman about use of the elbow. Nice and sharp here, Gorman, to start. Good reflexes there. Just some good counter punches coming in when Turner misses or lunges in like that. You see a nice little short left hook there from Gorman. He's coming behind that double jab to Sean Turner. There's talk of uh, Turner fighting Gorman before. Instead, he took a pretty well paid engagement in Germany against Nicky Hergovic. Young prospect who's coming in with a very impressive amateur record, and Turner went the distance with him, which showed his toughness, if nothing else. Oh, that's good from Gorman, letting his punches go well. And again, Turner just, just keep planting those feet in front of Gorman, but Gorman just carries on throwing the punches. You've got to just be a little bit more agile here, Turner. 
Nathan Gorman was telling me how much he's enjoyed sparring Tyson Fury, who's been in the same gym. Lovely right uppercut there. Fantastic combination there. Oh, yeah. look at that beautiful body shot and the right hand there already. A smear of blood from the nose of Turner and another tremendous uppercut. And he's letting his punches go with intent here, Gorman. Some people have said he's a bit too nice and a bit too gentle. Well, he's put the heat on Turner in this opening three minutes. Slow turner right down as well, haven't he there with that lovely combination, Gorman. Fantastic start for the for the young young 21-year-old. Oh, beautiful combination. Hooks to the body and switch the attack to the head. The punch speed and the quality of punch, all with the Nantwich youngster Nathan Gorman at the moment. The Dubliner Sean Turner not really into his stride, but just landing a couple of reminders in the closing seconds for the clear round to Gorman. When, he, when he's had turned a bit of pressure. Fantastic start here from, the, from young Nathan Gorman. Yeah, a big opener for Gorman, and Turner, his only real attack came in the closing seconds of that opening round, and only a couple of cuffing blows there. Heads going in close this time, and in close, it's where Turner says that he's the stronger man. What's the right idea from Turner? Just trying to close the gap of Gorman, because obviously you know Gorman's a better mover, more fleet-footed. But he's just doing it in straight lines at the minute, Turner, so he's easy to, for, to read for the faster Gorman. So much talent around Daniel Dubois, of course, due to be fighting before too long. Joe Joyce, Dillian White, not to mention one Mr. Joshua and others as well. And Nathan Gorman wants to be very much the part of that heady equation for boxing success in years to come. He, he's boxing fantastic at, right at the minute. Just that the nice little combination there we've just seen, but just before that, Turner threw a shot, just took a little step back to a lovely left hook. Turner actually had a knockout with the very first punch he threw as a professional back in 2014. <laughs> he put away Zoltan Elikes. Just got him with the right hand there. Big left hook, he could do with one now. Just needs to move his head a bit more, Turner, when he's coming forward. He'll make Gorman look for the target. Shot. And he felt that one, Turner. Didn't rock, but he was certainly put off balance. Oh, great shot, quality uppercut. It's a lovely shot. He took that shot well, to his credit there, Sean Turner. It was a lovely right hand, straight right hand. And the previous combination there from Gorman. He was just so relaxed, isn't he? Moving well. He moves, moves well like a middleweight than a heavyweight. Yeah, brimful of confidence. <laughs> He's a very likeable lad as well when you talk to him, very self-effacing, charming sort of guy. And if he goes continuing to put wins together, he's going to make a lot of friends around British sport. Man of the travelling community, based in Nantwich, and a distant relation, actually, of Tyson Fury. This is where you, you fancy Turner to get the better, but right now, with his back against the ropes, it's Gorman pu pu pushing the weight on and making the space for those uppercuts. Well, Gorman was intent, I think, on showing a couple of things tonight. He wanted to show that he was not the Mr. Nice Guy, not some young softy. He wanted to show that he was physically strong and able to match a real brawler like Turner if he has to. But the way he's boxing right now, he doesn't need it. Just keep doing what you're doing. Oh, good right hand. Oh, shot. Oh, he got him. Right hand, it was the uppercut. There was a straight right, followed by the uppercut. And Turner goes down. And Gorman certainly has posted a real statement here. Turner gets to his feet, but only just closing seconds. And there was a really emphatic round for Nathan Gorman. And here we see just how it happened. Great uppercut! What a shot that is! It was that right hand at the top of the head first of all. Just I think that shot there. That I think that made Gorman uh, turn to see stars. And you can see it when it's heads down there. Lovely shot placement here from Gorman with that right uppercut through the guard. Well, he had nowhere to go but the floor there, Turner. He's a tough guy and he got up and he knows he's coming off with the next round, but 
That was hard finish of the round there, John. It was so impressive the way Gorman found that target because he was trying to cover up Turner and he didn't have a lot to go for. And it was an absolute peach that Gorman found. And he's trying to pile it on now. And Turner looking very uncomfortable under another big attack. Pushes him away with the forearm, which isn't allowed. But he's going to do well to stay on his feet here, Turner, because the punches are raining in from every angle. He's gambling here to Gorman. Doesn't want to punch himself out, but he is right on top. Again, over the right hand to start that off. He's a straight right hand and a left hook. And blinking he was there with the left eye. Retreating to the ropes there, Turner. He had to fire back. He was lucky the referee didn't step in at that little point. Put a lot into that attack, Gorman. And Turner is still in there. But the referee will want to see him starting to fire back a little bit. He's in there, John, but he's being matched in every department so far. And more by Nathan Gorman, who's boxing out of his skin. He really is. Oh, good left hook there, though, from Turner. Strong guy, Turner, and he'll keep coming as long as he can, but two more big uppercuts, and the right hook from Gorman, who's unloading, and it's all over. Referee John Latham stops it in the third round, and Nathan Gorman wants people to sit up and take notice of his talent, and he's put a really big, strong, tough Irishman away there with an absolute barrage of quality punches and a very impressive win. It, what it was, John, forget about the power and all the rest, it was a tremendous display of boxing ability. The movement of his feet, the counter-punching he had, the fast hands, the placement of the punches in the combinations, always thinking about his work, not just throwing his hands hell for leather. And then when he felt Turner was about to go, that's when he just put, put his foot on the pedal and just went for it. Ricky Hatton's really excited about this young fella, and he's shown us very clearly why. This is the attack early in the round when he couldn't get him away, he almost did, and then he takes a little breather and waits for another opportunity. But look at the but, variety but it, of but, shots. But the thought and everything, even the little, even the little forearm to push him away, make space for the work. The referee was right there. You know, I, th I think even that combination before, the referee was looking to step in, turn a hold on, get himself a little bit of a rest, but didn't throw anything back at that stage. He, he knew that he had no answer to what Gorman had. And a brave little effort there from Turner, but Gorman, no, that was his come out fight for sure. That was he was he was tremendous tonight, really was. The Four wins beat. by stoppage on the spin. I rather think that when you talk about Nathan Gorman, big test still to come, but that's another sizable step up the ladder. Here's Thomas Driver. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the official time. One minute, nine seconds of round number three. Our referee in charge, John Latham, stops the contest as the red corner in no condition to continue. Therefore, your winner and still undefeated, Nathan Gorman. With an amazing depth of talent of heavyweights, Nathan Gorman unquestionably is another.